So uh, now uh, the floor is to uh, Harold uh, Katcher. So Harold, uh, let me un you. unmute my microphone. Can it's people okay. hear me? We can hear you okay. and you can share the screen. Okay, uh, let me just try sharing the screen. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Sorry, here you go. What the heck? It's okay. Great. Go ahead. We go back to that. Not, yeah. uh, speak, speak already about uh, uh, so the two things you were disagreeing while, uh, while we are trying. Yes. And then this will explain it. This picture uh, is blood levels of, of in two inflammatory cytokines, IL-6 on top and TNF-alpha on the bottom. Now, it was, it was uh, Irena Convoy's um, point that it's factors in old blood that are important, not the factors in young blood. And she says, in fact, the factors in old blood uh, stop the creation of the factors, the youth promoting factors. But here we have a case where we have old rats that are treated solely with, with these factors. And these factors in total Injected, injected over the course of a week, uh, completely. Uh, uh, no, uh, yeah. Uh, could could I? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have to concentrate. Okay, so point is, when when we put in our youth promoting factors, which we purified. Now, I, I'd like a, to give a bigger introduction, but we've just moved into this new apartment. We just moved in last night and, and, and everything is, is uh, in a heap and a jumble. But let me just say, so when we injected these youth factors and the total volume of these youth factors injected over a week constituted about 10% of, of the rat's blood. We used rats, not mice. Uh, we got the extraordinary result here, the middle line, the orange line, the red line is uh, old controls, the blue line is young controls. This is the levels of interleukin-6. We see that the levels of interleukin-6 drop to, to youthful, actually below youthful levels, and only then start to rise again. Now, by day 95, where you see that purple line up on the IL-6 or either of them, it doesn't matter, we gave a second treatment, a second set of four injections. Uh, each injection was 0.8 ml and we gave four injections. Now we see that the level not only drops considerably below the level of the young control, but it doesn't rise again, which to me means exactly the opposite of what, of what uh, Yvena said. Here we see that in the presence of the youthful factor, after, so first of all, we never removed the old factors. Although I had originally intended to do so, that, that was my plan. In, in 2013, I wrote, I wrote a paper called uh, Studies That Sh Shed New Light on Aging. And I, I said that complete plasma replacement, replacing uh, the pro-aging factors present in old blood with the youthful factors present in young blood and young plasma by using plasma exchange should have the effect of rejuvenating animals. I, I actually developed a scheme for this and I got together with uh, Mitch Harmon and, and um, 
what's his name? Uh, 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 God. Sorry, it's, it's still early in the morning for me and uh, we just moved in. Um, uh, uh, Kiprov, Dobry Kiprov. Uh, to do such a, a trial in, in human beings, but that never worked out. In any case, I... I figured out what the youth inducing factors should be do like, should be do, should be like due to the literature that I read. And by, by luck, I managed to purify these youth inducing factors and, and could use them as an injection. We called it elixir in reference to the classical uh, the classical drink of the gods, where we're now calling it E5. But in any case, it's youth-inducing factors. There's no dilution whatsoever. And yet we can see after time that, that, uh, that there seems to be no more, uh, I wish we had a third, uh, a third repetition of this, but there seems to be no more increase in aging or the increase in aging seems seems minimal, if, if, if anything at all. So we believe, one, that, that there are youth-inducing factors that are important, that, and that the way that these youth-inducing factors work is very much the same way that the SKA, that the Yamanaka factors work. Uh, and I think Rudy agrees with, with me uh, about this. We believe, Okay, so that's one thing. The, the second thing is Vera's presentation where she talks about uh, um, segments of viral DNA that have been incorporated into human DNA and are freed once uh, peewee RNA is, is, is no longer present or there's been some sort of, uh, of epigenetic um, uh, destruction of, however, we see that normally, and if we look at both the young controls and the old controls, there's this constant steady increase in, in uh, inflammatory factors. And once we add uh, E5, once we add the youth inducing factors, that level goes down. So either we're repressing all the viruses again, we're, we're, re we're reinvigorating the epigenetic program to, to keep things intact. Um, you know, basically my day of aging is, is, is different from many of the people here. I believe aging is an entirely programmed process. I believe that every life stage has a phenotype associated with it. And I believe that the phenotype is carried by the blood to the cells. And if we take a look, see if I can get another picture up. I dread this. Um, I suppose I should get the other pictures down. Um, at this point, I'm not even sure of what I wanted to show you folks. Cognition, um, blood tests. Let's take a look at blood tests. See if they pop up to begin with. Uh, possibly. Can you see this? Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes, we can see it, but Rodolfo, uh, normally you are already uh, uh, out of time. So, uh, sorry. That's I fine. They were technical. They were I'm, technical, so, I'm uh, sorry to have given such a, yeah. such a messed up presentation, but it's a circumstance. In any case, the work is valid and the ideas are valid, we think. So, please, uh, I, I'm, I'm finished. But I do want you to at least take a look at this and notice that all of the characteristics that we associate with youth come back after treatment. 
all the way from, from Billy from Billy Rubin to, to liver enzymes to triglyceride levels to HDA levels, cholesterol, blood urea nitrogen, all come back to the phenotype of a young animal. And these are all unrelated to each other. These measurements of liver function, kidney function, etc., and yet they all come back to youthful levels. They all come back to to what is appropriate for their new age, which is young adult. Okay. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Rodolfo. Very uh, impressive uh, results uh, uh, indeed. Um, sadly, we don't have uh, time for questions at the moment, uh, but uh, I propose that you, there, uh, there are answers in the, uh, sorry, there are questions in the chat, so I propose that you answer in uh, the chat. Uh, 